What's up everyone, Katja here. This week we got this beautiful buffet, but it's looking a little bit boring. All we have to do is remove this hardware, which I really dislike, and we're going to close the holes, sand it, and we can start painting. What we did here is sand it, clean it, and put some shellac to prevent the bleed through from sanding. For my color, I picked Emily. It's a beautiful purple color, and <laughs> I'm just being honest. I was sitting here and I'm like, which color do I use? And I'm like, let's just go with the colors of my nails. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing purple. This is one of the rare colors from Annie Sloan that I never use it by itself. It's always uh, with some wash or some blending, but never by itself. So I'm really excited to see how it looks. And I'm also using Annie Sloan flat brush. Uh, the reason is because I want to give this piece more of a modern finish because the piece is in great condition. It's smooth and nice and I don't have to uh, create any texture to hide imperfections because there is no imperfections on this piece. So for that, I'm using Annie Sloan flat brush and I'm going to grab my Mr. Bottle as well. Spraying some water as you paint will give you more of a smooth finish to your pieces. Blue, where did you go, Blue? I prepped the piece, I painted it uh, using that beautiful color Emily by Annie Sloan, two coats, everything is dry. And when, uh, while my piece was drying, I got this great idea to use a stencil and gold leaf on the front doors and the doors. So I'm going to explain you how to use stencil and gold leaf step by step. So I can explain you more in depth. I get so many questions about this. I know a lot of you have issues doing this. So I'm just going to take uh, my time to explain you how to do gold leaf stenciling like a pro because it's not hard you just need to know some tricks what you need for gold leaf stenciling is a stencil you need some papers you need a gold leaf i'm using my gold leaf and you need a tacky spray that you can find at walmart hobby lobby everywhere yeah. we're going to lay this piece on its back because it's going to be much easier to do technique that way we're gonna have our finger stuck you first Here's my stencil, a beautiful design, one of my favorite designs ever. And I'm just going to find the center of this piece, which is these keyholes. And that's where I'm going to put the stencil right in the middle of that. You just wanna make sure it's center, it's looking good. Take your time when you're doing this. You can tape it if you uh, are afraid that you're going to move your stencil. Just take your time and don't rush the process. Now I'm grabbing these papers that I brought and I'm going to put them underneath the stencil on the edges to cover this area because this is where I don't want my tacky spray to go. And it might go once I'm spraying, actually it flies everywhere. So we want to protect this area because that is just going to create a messy look. All right, so let's do the same here. here. All right. I'm grabbing my tacky spray. You gotta give it a little shake. And now I'm going to start spraying. You don't have to spray this heavily. You just go light, light, light. Because the reason you're having issues if you're doing this and you're getting uh, not clean stenciling is because you're applying this too thick, too close. Put the spray, put the bottle a little further away from the stencil and go light, go light, light uh, sprays. You just don't go in very hard and strong. So that is probably the main uh, reason you're having issues if you're having them. So let's do that now. A 
let's lift it up and here you can see all the tacky spray where it went and that's what you don't want so that's why we use the papers we're going to remove them now when using tacky spray you don't have to wait any time you can go straight into gold leafing uh, the stencil so all we're going to do is start applying the gold leaf and let's start here I like to do this way and we just keep on going I just like to tap it So when it comes to tacky spray, remember less is more and further is better. And in case you miss some areas, I will show you how to fix it. Uh, I'm going to see, maybe I missed some areas and I didn't apply enough tacky spray and I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. It's very easy. What I have here is Anislon flat brush. You want to use a flat brush. This is what I prefer, works every time. And now that I apply this, I'm going over making sure my gold leaf got attached to the tacky spray. And we're going to start brushing it off. So let's go. And when you start, right, this looks like what is going on? You're like, what did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do anything wrong. You have to keep on brushing to get that beautiful design comes out. You get your brush like this and you start brushing it this way. Instead of going like this back and forth, you want a little angle. You want that angle, you see? Everything is coming off and there is a beautiful design coming through. So you might be doing this and you think that you're doing something wrong, but really you're not doing anything wrong. You just have to keep on brushing that. Once you get a hang of this, it's so easy. And we have here some areas that I missed. I didn't spray enough tacky spray and I'm going to show you how to fix that, but that we will do at the end, once I'm done gold leafing a whole uh, section of these doors. All right, I'm getting rid of all this little loose gold leaf. And now we're going to connect the transfer. So you just wanna connect it. This step is pretty easy. Make sure everything is looking good. And when you make sure everything is looking good, what you're going to do, you're going to grab those papers again, cover this because you don't need to spray tacky spray on top of the gold leaf. You wanna cover that. And then we are going to cover this one here. Make sure it's straight. And now we can spray again. So we're just going to spray this section now. are just going to repeat the process. From here. Okay, now before I remove this, uh, the way I prefer to do is I like to do the other side as well and then brush everything off. 
uh, this is just the way I like to work. There is nothing wrong if you want to brush this off and then continue with this side. So what is going on here? I'm brushing it off and I'm noticing this is very messy. This looks very messy. So what does this tell me? That I went too close and I actually knew immediately when I was spraying it. I went too close, too heavy and I just applied too much tacky spray. But that's not a problem neither because all you have to do to fix this is just paint over this area with your base color and we're going to repeat the process only on this pattern here. We're done gold leafing, stenciling and gold leafing. And uh, what I'm going to do now, since my piece is already uh, laying on the floor, this is a great opportunity uh, for me to uh, gold leaf the legs. I'm planning to gold leaf them anyway. So it's much easier if you gold leaf the legs when they're like on the floor, laying like this in this position, instead of when a piece is standing up. So work smart, not hard. Don't just keep, you know, moving furniture. We are going to apply gold leaf glue. I'm using uh, the one from my line with Rezan with Prima. I'm going to apply it all over the legs and then I'm going to attach the gold leaf. This takes time. There is no rush when doing gold leafing. Okay, good. Nice. Now let's have some fun with gold leaf. I am going to add some more gold leaf around here. What I'm doing here is using Annie Sloan diesel brush and I'm applying the gold leaf glue around this trimming area. Uh, for this, you have to have patience so your line can come out clean. Uh, so take your time, don't rush the process and uh, it will come out beautiful. As I'm working on this piece, I'm falling in love with it more and more. I really love how gold leaf is looking with this Emily color, this purple, beautiful color. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my brush and my polishing pad to get rid of all this extra gold leaf. Everything is on the floor. Once I'm done with it, I'm going to pick it up, put it in some bowl, and we can definitely use this as a filler for something else. So you don't have to throw away this. You can throw it away if you like, but you don't have to. Just save it for something else in the future for small projects. I'm just going over with the glue over the areas that I missed it. And finally, we're done gold leafing. Uh, the little details actually took me longer than applying uh, gold leaf on the legs and everywhere else and stenciling it. So just remember that when working with gold leaf, have a lot of patience because you will need it. Uh, I cleaned my stage and now I'm going to add some extra touch to inside the doors. I want to use a transfer and I will be using this beautiful Pretty in Peach transfer. This will add extra touch when somebody opens the door and they see this beautiful transfer inside. It's just going a little extra for my customers. So when they open it, they can have a little surprise and it's just for them. What I have here now is uh, my base color and a cheap brush. And I'm going to add some uh, purple color 
to blend in this gold leaf better so the lines don't look like this because it kind of looks messy which is okay with gold leaf but I really want nicer transition between gold and purple this is uh, this what I'm doing here is totally personal preference I'm just dry brushing a little bit of purple onto the gold to create a softer transitions the more you pay attention to the details, the nicer the piece looks. We're almost done with this piece. All we have left to do is protect it, put the new hardware on, and we will be all done. I love it so much, it's so pretty. Feminine, cute, it's matching my nails, where the inspiration came from. Inspiration is everywhere, you just have to look for it. And I found it in my nails. Bye. <laughs>